The cryptocurrency exchange's great theft. Mt. Gox's scandal. In the dark alleys of the digital world. 2014 witnessed a theft so grand. It would have made history's most notorious bandits bow and all. Picture this. 850,000 bitcoins, the digital gold of the 21st century, disappeared into thin air. No masked robbers, no dramatic heists, just a few lines of code and poof. Billions worth of currency gone. Makes you wonder if the digital age has simply made grand larcenies more efficient. Rewind a few years. Tokyo Wendy 10, Mt. Gox, the dazzling poster child of the cryptocurrency revolution, which means magic. The gathering online exchange. It pivoted to something far more lucrative, becoming the cornerstone for a new age of digital currency. Born from the brainchild of Jeb Michaela, and later adopted by Mark Carpelles. It became the trusted guardian of nearly 70% of all Bitcoin transactions by 2013. Under Carpelles, Mt. Gox launched with a unique proposition. Simplifying the arcane world of Bitcoin the exchange was more than just a business. It was a beacon, a symbol of a decentralized financial future. And as with all great symbols, it attracted followers, from tech geeks in Silicon Valley basements to high-flying investors in Tokyo's skyscrapers. To understand Mt. Gox's meteoric rise, it's crucial to set the stage. By 2013, Bitcoin was not just the domain of tech geeks, but had captured the attention of a wider audience. People began to see its potential. And Mt. Gox was right there, riding the wave with impeccable timing. With its user-friendly interface and seemingly unlimited liquidity, it was the exchange everyone flocked to. To put things in perspective, other players in the field, like Bitstamp and BDC, were merely trying to carve a niche. In contrast, Mt. Gox was busy carving a monolith so many, especially the newly minted crypto investors, Mt. Gox was not just an exchange. It was the exchange. The darling of Tokyo, handling over 70% of all Bitcoin transactions. Imagine, almost three out of every four Bitcoin transactions on the planet went through this single exchange. They didn't just dominate the market. They were the market. Such dominance, of course, brought in parallel trust. Mt. Gox was perceived as the safest, most reliable place to buy, sell, and store bitcoins. But little rumblings began to surface. Roger, a tech enthusiast from Singapore, began ranting on online forums about unexplained delays in his withdrawal requests. Sarah, the London-based journalist who chronicled Bitcoin's ascent, started noticing discrepancies in Mt. Gox's trade data. Quispers began, growing steadily louder. Was the golden goose of crypto faltering? By 2014, some users of this digital behemoth began raising eyebrows. Withdrawal delays, hushed whispers of mismanagement. And yet, the world largely remained in blissful ignorance. The world grappling with the question of whether Bitcoin was a legitimized currency or just another financial folly, a catastrophe erupted. 850,000 bitcoins, with a value of over $450 million at the time, vanished. Mt. Gox, the exchange that once sat atop the bitcoin world like a golden goose, albeit one with questionable accounting practices. Bitcoin withdrawals, 
once as punctual as a Swiss watch, now had the reliability of a 90s dial-up connection. Users found themselves waiting for their digital goal, with reasons ranging from technical glitches to security checks. Some pointed out that if Mt. Gox were a traditional bank, their customers would have been hammering at their vault door demanding answers. As February 2014 rolled in, the murmurs grew louder. Mt. Gox halted all Bitcoin withdrawals. They cited a bug in the Bitcoin software, one that made it susceptible to transaction malleability attacks. A convenient scapegoat, some would say. The real blow came later that month when a leaked document surfaced on the web. The paper laid bare the extent of the problem. Mt. Gox had lost 744,408 bitcoins due to theft that had gone unnoticed for years. That's about 6% of all bitcoins in existence at the time. Imagine discovering that 6% of the world's gold reserves had vanished, and no one realized it for years. In the middle of this mayo strong was Mark Carpelles, Mt. Gox's CEO. Once lauded as the genius captain steering the Bitcoin ship through choppy waters, he was now the center of a storm of scrutiny. As the layers of the Mt. Gox onion were peeled back, one thing became clear. The Bitcoin world's golden child had some very tarnished edges. Mt. Gox filed for bankruptcy protection in Japan, and soon after in the US. The numbers were eye-watering. They reported outstanding debts of about $63.6 million against assets of a mere $37.7 million. In crypto terms, it's like finding out Superman had been relying on budget store spandex all along. In 2015, Mark Carpelles was arrested in Japan on accusations of falsifying financial records and embezzling millions. While he swanned around Tokyo earlier, enjoying his millionaire lifestyle, he now faced the music in detention centers. Carpelles was later found guilty of falsifying financial records but was acquitted of embezzlement. The sentence a suspended jail term. Perhaps not the dramatic slam of the gavel some had hoped for, but the mighty had certainly fallen. The Mt. Gox scandal was a cataclysmic event, akin to a meteor striking the lush landscape of the cryptocurrency world. But after every disaster, nature has a funny way of bouncing back. As for the crypto community, the path to redemption wasn't straightforward, but it was nothing if not enlightening. By 2020, some of the lost Bitcoins began their slow journey back to their rightful owners, a process facilitated by a Japanese rehabilitation plan. A heartening turn of events for those who'd long since ridden off their investments. But of course, Many still waited for a piece of their lost fortunes, at least the gears of justice, albeit moving at a glacial pace, were in motion. The lesson here was as clear as a crystal ball with HD resolution. Oversight and transparency weren't just buzzwords to throw around in white papers. They were essential components of a mature financial system. The Mt. Gox debacle emphasized the significance of robust security measures, transparent governance, and the pressing need for cold storage, offline wallets. The narrative shifted from a gold rush mindset to building sustainable, trustable systems. Ironically, in its colossal failure, Mt. Gox laid the groundwork for a brighter future. The crypto community, once burned but twice as vigilant, grew more discerning, favoring platforms that valued transparency and security over mere transaction volume. In the end, 
The Mt. Gox scandal served as a watershed moment, a reality check that steered the course of cryptocurrency's journey. From the tumultuous seas of scandal, a more mature, more cautious, yet still fiercely innovative industry emerged. So here we stand at the crossroads of this history, looking back at the winding road of crypto's past and gazing ahead at its limitless potential.